Miles Rutledge, a young British adventurer, humanitarian, and a generally based and red-pilled internet legend, has been missing in Afghanistan for over two weeks at the time of recording. Although I can't make too many speculations, the situation surrounding his disappearance has been full of lies and very suspicious claims stemming from what seems to be the Taliban Public Relations Department on Twitter. I've yet to find any sort of proof that this Taliban Twitter account is official, and if anything, to me, they seem very fake. But either way, they have played a heavy hand in the spreading of misinformation surrounding this case, perhaps very dangerous misinformation. Lord Miles' fame initially started when he live posted from Afghanistan during the fall of Kabul in 2021, which ended with him being evacuated to Dubai by the British Army in a military transport plane. Since this historic event, Miles has revisited Afghanistan multiple times and has seemed to establish a relationship with the Taliban, despite a few oddities along the way. He has also been to the front lines of Ukraine, jumped many borders, and even recently visited Snake Island off the coast of Brazil donning a full set of knight's armor to protect himself from any potential snake bites. Truly, a mad lad, and maybe the only great British adventurer of our time. But on his most recent and current Afghanistan trip, things have gone very haywire. On February 27th, Miles Rutledge made his final social media posts on Twitter and iFunny, claiming to be in Afghanistan with the Taliban and planning to shoot at anime body pillows with PKMs and RPGs. Since these final messages, there have been no posts or contact from him, but sources claim that he was last spotted on March 6th in a rural and possibly ISIS-controlled area of Afghanistan. This claim is also supported by his iFunny account, which shows his last online activity as the same day. Despite the complete lack of contact, the alleged Taliban Twitter account asked people specifically not to report his absence to the UK and claimed that he was certainly safe and seemingly in some sort of custody, even a week after his confirmed disappearance. In a since-deleted tweet, they even claim that the Kabul Police HQ Twitter would be making a statement the next day regarding his absence, but that tweet was removed within minutes. The alleged Taliban Twitter account also offered Miles the position of Afghan Tourism Director seemingly as further enticement for him to come visit. This is pretty scary when you look at their other recent job offers, specifically an incident where they asked a woman who was degrading the regime to come pilot their captured US military aircraft. Mere days later, the Taliban on the very same account claimed that they had no need for pilots and certainly not foreigners, a direct contrast to their previous statement. On top of this, the gym membership offered goes directly against the Taliban's policies, which ban women from gyms. If this account does prove to be legitimate, it may be that they use these job propositions as a means to entice their enemies to visit for punishment. Once again, this is only speculation, but given the history of the Taliban, this does raise serious red flags regarding Miles' safety. Some people even propose that Miles may be being punished for spreading misinformation after his return to the UK. This could be due to the fact that Miles called out a Taliban-affiliated individual who was from the Kandahar region, known for the high rates of homosexual child abuse. This correlation, as I said, is total speculation, and I'm only mentioning it for the sake of full transparency since the supposed Taliban account did earlier lie about Miles being safe and accounted for, despite any sort of proof. These claims were also walked back about a week later when the same account announced the disappearance of Miles. The account is continuously updating their Twitter with reports on how the search efforts are going, with claims that Miles is suspected to be in the Wakhan Corridor a stretch of land between Afghanistan and China. This idea is further supported by a bunch of posts from Miles a few months back, in which he details his plans to cross this Chinese-Afghan border, an incredibly difficult passage which was last hiked in its entirety by a westerner in the 1940s. The corridor is approximately 140 miles in length, so although Miles has been entirely radio silent for 13 days and hasn't posted anything in 20, there is still a significant chance he is okay if it does turn out that he's trekking this passage. If Miles packed the necessary food and equipment for the trip, he could very well still be in the midst of his mission, likely on his way back. There should be rivers around which would prevent him from dying of dehydration, 
and around the halfway point is the last settlement, the Sarahad village, which would be maybe the most important resupply point for the entire trip. Based on the general consensus that 7 days is the most your average hiker can go without a resupply, this remote and final village near the halfway point really would be Miles' lifeline. At a pace of about 15 miles a day, it would be expected for him to take at least 20 days to complete the hike and to return to a town with internet, and that is if he wasn't to stop for long at any of the remote villages and if no issues were to arise. And considering the amount of supplies he would need to carry for the final stretch of the trip, I'd imagine his rate of travel would be even slower than that. The Taliban PRD account claims that Miles did not check in with the travel services before this, likely due to the fact that actually crossing the Chinese border, as he said he intends to, would be illegal. Usually, Miles would at least share more info prior to the trip online, or at least in his Patreon group chat, but given the illegality of this border crossing, it would make perfect sense for him to stay quiet before leaving, as the Chinese are known to take these sorts of offenses very seriously. Taking into account the 7 day difference between his last post on the 27th of February and his last iFunny activity on the 6th of March, it would make a lot of sense if he is in fact crossing this passage secretly. I'm still incredibly concerned for Miles' safety, especially if there are actually ISIS cells in the area, but as of now, the 13 days of silence would be very normal for a trip of this length in such a remote part of Afghanistan. The YouTuber Count Dankula has also claimed a few days ago that he has information that he can't discuss, verifying that Miles is alive in Afghanistan, but is unable to leave. This could be seen as something supporting the incarceration theory, but more likely it's Dankula's way of saying that Miles is in fact in the Wakhan Corridor. The vagueness of the claim prevents us from making any real assumptions, but he does mention some sort of misunderstanding which caused all of this confusion. Personally, I find it most likely that Miles told Dankula about his plans to trek the Wakjir Pass in the Wakhan Corridor, considering the two have been friends for quite some time. Hopefully, the Taliban PRD account proves legitimate and well-natured as they claim, and there are actually helicopters and special forces looking to find and help our boy, even if he may be okay on his own. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please, even if you don't really believe in a higher power, just in case, send out a prayer for our young lad to return home safely.